two point charges Q1 and Q2 are held in place 4.5 cm apart. Another point charge Q is equal to minus 1.75 microcoulomb of mass 5 grams is initially located 3 cm from each of these charges and released from rest. You observe that the initial acceleration of Q is 324 meter per second square upward parallel to the line connecting the two point charges find Q1 and Q2. From the figure consider the two charges consider the two charges one charge is the Q1 this is the Q1 and consider the another charge Q2 this is the Q2. The two charges are separated from 4.5 centimeters. The two charges are separated from 4.5 centimeters. These are separated from four point five centimeters. And let us consider another charge Q from the three centimeter from each charge. The another charge is Q. The distance from the Q one is three centimeters and the distance from the Q two is 3 centimeters. Both are the same distance. This is the another charge Q. The distance is the 3 centimeters. From Q1 to Q and Q2 to Q2 to Q is the 3 centimeters. And the acceleration of the charge Q is along the upwards. This is the acceleration A along the upwards. Let us draw the figure. Let us draw the figure. This is the figure. The midpoint along the charges Q1 and Q2 connected to the Q. The distance between the, the midpoint of the Q1, Q2, 2 and 1, each one of them is the 2.5 centimeters. This is the midpoint of the two charges. And given the data, the charge Q is equal to from the given the data, the charge Q is equal to minus 1.75 micro coulomb. One micro coulomb is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6. So, minus 1.75 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs. And the mass of the charge Q is equal to m is equal to 5 grams. 1 gram is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 kg. So, 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kg. And the distance between the charge Q to Q1 or charge Q2, Q2 is 3 centimeters. So, R is equal to 3 centimeters. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. So, 3 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. And the distance between the two charges Q1 and Q2 is D. D is equal to 4.5 centimeters that is equal to 4.5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 
meters and the acceleration of the charge q is the initial acceleration of the charge q is a is equal to 324 meter per second square along the upward direction or positive y direction this is the given data we can calculate at the the angle between the horizontal line to charge q1 and charge q2 is where this is the theta this is the theta because the distance between the two charges is the same same and the angle is the same so the angle theta is equal to the angle theta is equal to this is the theta sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so theta is equal to sin inverse opposite side opposite side is the the midpoint between the two charges the distance between the midpoint between the two charges is 2.25 cm so opposite side is the 2.25 cm so 2.25 cm whole by hypotenuse hypotenuse is the 3 cm this is the 3 cm this is the 3 cm so 3 cm that is equal to theta is equal to 48.6 degrees this is the angle between the charge q1 and charge q2 along the horizontal line at the charge q this is the given data first of all we can calculate at the the net force on the charge q so the net force on the charge q due to q1 and q2 we can calculate at the the net force on q due to charge q1 and charge q2 if let us take charge q1 is take the positive and charge q2 is taken the negative value so due to the force diagram where charge q1 is positive so the direction of the force along the this direction so the x component is the negative and the y component is the negative and if charge q2 is negative so the direction of the force along the this direction because the negative charge always towards the it the direction of the force always towards the negative charge so the direction of the force along this one so the x component is the positive and the y component is the negative the net force at q is the x component both are cancelled to each other and the net force along the negative y direction so this condition does not exist in this case because the acceleration always upward direction so positive direction the net force along the negative direction so the net force does not exist in this case if in case the charge q1 is taken the negative and the charge q2 taken the positive so the charge q1 taken the negative the charge q2 taken the positive the force due to the charge q1 on q the direction along the upward this direction the force due to q1 on q the direction of the force along the this direction upward direction because the charge q1 taken the negative so the force always towards the negative direction negative charge and another case the charge q2 taken the positive so the direction of the force along the 
this direction along the this direction because charge taken the positive the direction of the force always away from the positive charge so the direction of the force along the upward direction this is the force direction so the net force at charge q1 on q and charge q2 on q the net force at charge q due to q1 and q2 the net force at charge q1 and q q2 at q is this is the f1 the force due to the charge q1 is the f1 the force due to the charge q2 is the f2 so the net force at charge q due to q1 and q2 is f1 plus f2 that is equal to the net force that net force on charge q is ma because the acceleration of charge q is upward direction so this is the ma this is the net force on charge q along the upward direction so taken the j direction positive j the force due to the f1 is the force due to the f1 is the k q q1 by r square the direction of the x component and y components are positive so cos theta i plus sin theta j this is the force due to the charge q1 on q and the force due to the charge q2 on q is plus k q q2 by r square into the direction of the force along the this one so the x component taken the negative and the y component taken the positive so minus cos theta i bar plus sin theta j bar that is equal to m a j bar so if in case charge q1 the magnitudes of the charge q1 and q2 are both are the same so the magnitudes of the charge q1 and charge q2 both are the same the magnitudes are the same so let us take q1 of the magnitude and q2 magnitude both are the same so let us take q1 is equal to q2 is equal to some q so from this equation k q small q by r square into cos theta i bar plus sin theta j bar plus k q small q by r square into minus cos theta i bar plus sin theta j bar that is equal to m a j bar so from this equation k q small q whole square cos theta i bar cancel the k q small q r square by minus cos theta i bar both are the cancel because this is one is the positive and this one is the negative and k q small q whole square sin theta j bar plus k q small q r square by sin theta j bar both are the adding so from this equation 2 k q whole by r square into 
సైన్ థేటా జే బార్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎంఏ జే బార్ బికాస్ ద ఎక్స్ కాంపొనెంట్స్ ఆర్ ద క్యాన్సిల్డ్ అండ్ యాడింగ్ ద వై కాంపొనెంట్స్ సో దిస్ ఈక్వేషన్ గివ్స్ టు ద and from this equation both are the same y components so the magnitudes of the equation 2 k q small q by r square is equal to m a from this equation the charge small q is equal to the small the charge small q is equal to ఎం ఏ ఇంటూ క్రాస్ మల్టిఫై ద ఈక్వేషన్ ఎంఏ ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ హోల్ బై టూ కే క్యూ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ ఈక్వేషన్ సబ్ చూడింగ్ ద వాల్యూస్ స్మాల్ క్యూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ ద మాస్ ఆఫ్ ద చార్జ్ క్యూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ ఫైవ్ ఇంటూ టెన్ టెన్త్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ త్రీ కేజీ అండ్ ద ఎగ్జలరేషన్ ఏ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ 324 ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ మీటర్ పర్ సెకండ్ స్క్వేర్ ఏ ఇంటూ ద డిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ ఇంటూ టెన్ టెన్త్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ టూ మీటర్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ హోల్ బై టూ ఇంటూ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ద కే ఈజ్ నైన్ ఇంటూ టెన్ టెన్త్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ నైన్ న్యూటన్ మీటర్ స్క్వేర్ బై కూలుంబ్ స్క్వేర్ ఇంటూ the charge q is equal to the magnitude of the charge q is equal to 1.75 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb from this equation the charge q is equal to 6.17 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulomb this is the charge Q is equal to 6.17 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulombs. This is the magnitudes of the charge Q1 and the charge Q2. So, from this figure, where char charge Q1 is taken the negative, so Q1 is equal to minus Q. So, the charge Q1 is equal to minus 6.17 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulombs this is the charge q1 the value of the charge q1 and the charge q2 is taken the positive so q2 is equal to taken the q so the charge q2 is equal to 6.17 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulombs this is the values of the both charges one is the negative q1 is negative and q2 is the positive